If you're an Android TV user who uses streaming applications like this or browsers or really any application on your device and you're looking for the easiest way to block ads across your entire device, allow me to now present the latest release or the recently updated TDUK DNS switcher which now supports Android TV 14 devices like the brand new Google Streamer 4K which is actually the device I'm using right now and it now has even more encrypted DNS servers you can use depending on your particular preference. Now, before you open up this application, you do have to enable either USB debugging or network debugging. So on the Google Streamer 4K, on the On 4K Pro, generally most certified Android TV devices, the option you're looking for is USB debugging. Whereas on the Nvidia Shield Pro, the option you're looking for inside developer options is called network debugging. So turn that option on, press back, back again, and we can now open up the TDUK DNS switcher. Let's click on that. Now I did cover this in detail in the last video, but as a quick summary, this application will force your device to use encrypted DNS servers. Encrypted means that your request for DNS queries and the response will be fully encrypted. Now the big benefit of that is you can also select ad blocking DNS servers. DNS servers are designed to block adverts, block malware, block adult content, really whichever filters you're looking for, you can add a DNS server for that. And from that point forward, your device will always use that DNS server. Now that's probably the most common question I got from my last video, which is, do I need to keep this application connected or open for my device to keep using those encrypted DNS servers? And the answer is no. My application is only used to set that initial connection, which forces your device to use as DNS servers. Once you've set that, you don't need to open up my application again, even after a restart. The only time you may want to open up my application again is if you want to change to a different DNS server, or maybe you want to stop using encrypted DNS for whatever reason. Other than that, you are pretty much good to go. So here we can see on my device, I can now click on connect. And now you may see a prompt asking you do you want to allow this ADB connection. Select the option to always allow and click on OK. Let's get down into select DNS server. Now with this new release, I've now added in more DNS servers that we can choose. The top one is from Cisco and the second one is from Cloudflare. So really fast, really responsive DNS servers. But again, they don't include any kind of filtering or any kind of ad blocking. And in some cases, that may be your particular use case. Maybe you found a certain application doesn't work properly when you block the adverts. You can then use one of these two and then access that application without any issue. Now, the next five, one, two, three, four, five, are designed for ad blocking. I would say at all different strengths. So now you may start with this one, but you may find that some adverts are still getting through, then you may change to this one. But but the main thing is we have multiple options to choose from. And if you don't want to use any of these ones, you can always enter in your own DNS server manually. Just make sure you enter in the DNS over TLS address into this field here, and you can go ahead and start using those encrypted DNS servers. Now for this example, I'm just gonna use uh, this one here. Let's click on start. And that's it from this point forward my device is always going to use those dns servers and again it doesn't matter if i reboot i don't need to open up this application again this application doesn't need to stay connected my device is now going to use those encrypted dns servers now in my last video i did this test here lots of you were messaging saying that when you clicked on this button you saw a prompt saying you don't have an application to use this function and the reason for that is when you click on this button it wants to open up a default browser now the browser I personally recommend is called TV Bro and you can install that directly from the Play Store. If you don't have that browser installed or any browser installed, that's where you'd see that previous message. And this is why I've now updated the app to actually tell you that, ensure you have TV Bro installed. So just to minimize any confusion or any questions, that's the best way to get the test working. I've got TV Bro already installed, so I can click on that. This now opens up TV Bro and this correctly shows me that I'm using those control ID DNS servers there. I can back out of that. Let me now choose an ad blocking one. Uh, I'll go for this one over here. Let's click on start. I do recommend once you've chosen your encrypted DNS server and you clicked on start, I would recommend clicking on exit. And that's it. I don't need to open up my application again, unless of course I want to change to a different DNS server or I want to stop using encrypted DNS. 
Now, if I open up a very popular streaming application, this RBT77, which I was told that as soon as you start here, as soon as you click on any stream, you do see a large pop-up adverb. But we can see on my device, I can click on something, click on select, no advert so far, and straight away, I'm now enjoying that stream. And when I press back, no adverts. So really guys, all of your favorite streaming applications, all of the applications where you typically see adverts, large pop-up adverts, adverts just taking over the whole screen, video-based adverts, all of them can now be stopped by using encrypted DNS via the TDUK DNS switcher. So how do you get this application and how much does it cost? Well, right now the application is available directly on the Google Play Store on all Android TV devices, certified Android TV devices, just head over to the search. You can just type in TDUK. That should be sufficient. And the application you are looking for is the third one here. So this is the third application I've published on the Google Play Store. And just like my other applications, it costs $1.99. It's a lifetime license and it covers unlimited devices. So doesn't matter if you have three Android TV devices in your house or 30 Android TV devices a single 199 license will cover all of them for life. All future updates, when I add in more DNS servers, when I add in more features, all of those future updates you'll get absolutely free once you purchase the initial 199 license. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new application. Really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.